So here we're going to be looking at sheet resistance. So sheet resistance is really important because um, it's, it's related to the resistance of thin films of things, which is uh, often used in the semiconductor industry. So microchips are built of thin layers of things. So it's important to understand the resistance and how resistance behaves when things are made very thin. So we're going to come back to our material of choice for this, which is Play-Doh. This is our material that can be quite easily measured with a multimeter. So here I've taken some Play-Doh and rolled it out nice and thin. And we're going to just measure the resistance of it. So if you remember, we, we saw that when we make something longer, something with a constant cross-section, like a wire or something, the longer the wire, the higher the resistance should be. So we might think the same would apply to um, something thin. So if we, if we measure the resistance with these probes quite far apart, so we're getting about 90 kilo ohms, and if we have them very close together, again measure, something fairly close, gone up to 100. Actually increased slightly, so that's probably down to contact resistance. But that didn't behave as expected. So effectively, the resistance that we measure here has no dependence on the separation of the probes. It doesn't matter how far apart they are, we get the same resistance on a thin conductor. So why would that be? So let's idealize this then. So instead of the, the cube that we had before, let's, if this was a cube that we had before, so <clears throat> I'm going to take that cube and uh, squash it. So if we squash our cube, and we've now got our thin conductor. So we can do the same as we did before for the cube. I'm going to connect it up to a battery so that we can measure the resistance. So we're going to say that this has got, thin film's got some thickness T and some width W and some length L. So if we take the equation that we had for resistivity previously, so resistivity is resistance times area over length. Now in this situation, the cross-sectional area here is width times thickness. So we can then say that resistance times thickness times width over length. So if we now imagine that this thin conductor, if, it, if, if the width and the length are always the same, then this ratio will always be one. And then this, this is just gonna drop out. So we can say if 
width equals length, then resistivity is this resistance that we measure multiplied by the thickness t. So this is kind of showing why that the resistance has no dependence on um, the size of the thin conductor. So you might you might say, well, okay, this is just some special condition that you've added that the width equals the length. What's that got to do with the situation where we contacted some probes? Well, if you think about it, if we contact some probes onto the surface here to measure, instead of having the circuit flowing through like this, the current is coming from a, a point here, and then it has to go to a point here on the surface. So what it does is it spreads out. like this. And the amount that it spreads out, this width, is always proportional to the separation of these probes. If we bring those two contacts, contacting probes very close together, then the amount it spreads out will be much lower. So this spreading out is directly proportional to the separation of these probes. So we've kind of got this um, situation here where the, the width equals the length. So this spreading width is approximately equal to the separation of these probes. So that's why the separation of these probes doesn't affect the resistance. So we usually um, call this special case where we're measuring a thin conductor, this resistance, we usually call it sheet resistance, so we normally call it R subscript S. Now this strictly has units of ohms, but what's usually given is ohms per square, so uh, it's often written like this. So. This square doesn't have any units. Um, all it's telling us is that the resistance we measure here is independent of the separation of the probes. So it's, it's, it's not strictly anything to do with the units. It's just telling us how it's measured.